Good evening and welcome to Great and Craft. How are you doing? My name is Nigel May and I tell you what, I am finishing my shift this weekend with a very, very good show. I have been so excited about this all day. It makes me happy, which is no surprise because it's the Happy Puzzle company that we're talking about. I'm going to get to play games this hour and brilliant games that are going to challenge the mind and make me smile and that's what we all want in life. Uh, they've all been created pretty much by this fabulous man over here, Gavin Uko. How are you, sir? I'm good, Nigel. How lovely to meet you and, and you to get as to well. work with you. We are going to have so much fun. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hello, Create and Craft World. How are you? I hope you are all doing well. We are going to have so much fun this hour. I am loving you already, quite frankly. You can come every day. This is brilliant. Should we dive straight on in? Um, also, I'm going to say, if you've got any of Gavin's games from before, please do email in and tell me all about them, because this is new to me tonight, and I'm so excited <coughs> by it. But I would love to know what you guys think as well, because you're, you are the important people. So studio at creightoncraft.com is the address. Email us in. Let's start with this one, Tillions. What is Tillions all about, well, Gavin? Well, I'm going to tell you about Tillions in one second. I do want to let everybody know, first of all, that all of the products that we're showing today have got 20% off just for this show. Oh, hello. Okay? Hello. Did hello. they not tell you? I'm telling you, I bring the good news. Everything, 20% off, but only for this show. And we do have an extended dispatch on all of these as well. I'm going to say that as from the 3rd of May, which is just around the corner, so that's not too bad at all. Um, so let's talk Tillions. Let's talk Tillions. Tillions are the most wonderful invention, uh, which you can see I've got in front of me over here. They were uh, invented by a lady called Helen Barron, right. uh, who is a ceramic tiler, and okay. she created created hundreds of different types of tiles which she realized could go together in billions of ways in fact trillions of ways hence the name uh, <laughs> trillions uh, and you can use them to create whatever patterns you want now a lot of people see these as being mindfulness uh, tools to be able to play with the beauty of them is that they are magnetic so as you go through you'll be able to see as I move them here they've got magnetic backs and you can do whatever you want with them so what do we get inside a set well let me show you here we are busy for this Gavin already this is good because this is a product launch is the first time we've yes. done these by the way it's brand new so you get 18 different types of tillions now let's have a look at what you've got uh, you've got one thing there which has sort of an end to it you can see that piece on there that's something which is called a finial in other words it finishes at the end there Lovely. then we have our runners our runners are pieces like this which go along they don't have any ends and they don't necessarily to connect to all of the pieces then we have our corner pieces that are like this type of piece here and this type of piece here then we have our borders which are like this type of piece here and this type of piece here and finally we have our middles which are like this piece here and this piece here now the beauty of this is that with the 18 different tillions that you have in your set you have eight of each of them which means that you can build the most beautiful symmetrical or if you prefer non-symmetrical patterns as you go through and they can be as complex as you like or they can be as simple as you like now in true blue peter style here is one that i prepared earlier and i've used most of the different tiles just to demonstrate here and i've managed to do this in a symmetrical way actually in a two-way symmetrical way as well but you can do whatever you want now inside your set apart from your 144 tillions you're also getting the tillions board which is a magnet receptive board which either comes in a small way like that or you can open it up double the size so you've got a much bigger board to be able to work with as well plus the design booklet that guides you through exactly how to uh, build your Tillions uh, and gives you all sorts of ideas for ways to actually develop them as well. Everything inside there comes with the set, everything you need, and if you really want to be creative, you can do what my children have done, which is to actually build the designs on the refrigerator, because if you've got I a like, metal surface refrigerator, I like that they idea. will work on those as well. I'm loving your kids, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, two questions. Yes. So first off, are you playing against somebody or you were playing get, no. get with yourself? As so were. this is basically practical mindfulness. Now, we're all quite familiar these days with mindfulness patterns yes. that you sit and you colour in. This is something practical where you're being creative in your own way. So this has the same beautiful feeling of mindfulness that you can sit while you're doing something else. You can sit while you're watching Create and Craft uh, and play around with these and create your designs. And as you change them, every tiny little change will completely change the complexity and 
and the beauty of the pattern that you are building. It's going to get the old grey cells going. Second question, what age are we recommending? So ideally I would say that these are suitable for six plus okay, fair. because you can start with very, very simple patterns and from a mathematical point of view it's a lovely way of introducing children to ideas of symmetry and geometry and so on and so forth. My uh, eldest granddaughter is six, so sold to the man over here in yellow. I'm happy with that straight away. Uh, let's remind you of Tillian's. It's 693889 is your item number. 1439 if you're in the club. That's a fab price. Should we have FlexiPay? Boom, let's have FlexiPay as well. Boom, thank you. Uh, £7.20p is your price in your Flexi Basket, keeping that price down below a tenner. It is the brilliant world of Tillian's. <laughs> Busy for them, they're Tillions, I'm loving that. But let's move on to the best seller from the Happy Puzzle Company range here at Creighton Craft, I'm told. The Genius Square. Now, do I need to be a genius to play this? You do not need to be a genius Hurrah. to play it because the genius <laughs> is in the game itself. Okay. In fact, you can play this as a real leveller, so it doesn't matter whether you're six or 106 or anything in between. And if you want to play it with yourself or with one other person or with your grandchildren across Zoom in another country, another part of the world, whatever you want to do. This is, without any doubt, the best game I have ever played. And I promise you I've played thousands of games over the years. That's in quite fact, some statement, as a, as a bold thing to say, I think mm. this is the cleverest game ever invented. Now, I want to say that Create and Craft viewers are very familiar with this, yes. and it's important that we give just a couple of seconds while I explain this for people to go and get their copies, because what they really do like doing is playing against us at the same time. See, I love this idea, it's being beautiful. completely interactive, which is brilliant. So yes, play along, play along. Am I right in thinking as well, like during the whole pandemic and the lockdowns and stuff people were like literally doing this like passing it from house to house to house to actually play with each other absolutely as it were. and we uh, saw lots other. of online tournaments as well with people doing these on the internet uh, and it does become a little bit complicated because when you've got lots of people playing and there's like a millisecond between one person solving and the other person solving it's quite difficult to actually work out who has run now let me tell you the story of the genius square this was invented by an Algerian mathematician called Salim Burgish about three years ago and his original idea found its way to the Happy Puzzle Company and unfortunately it didn't work in the way that he thought it was going to work so we had to do some work with it to make sure that it did the very thing which is so genius so now for the benefit of people who have just arrived on planet Earth for the first time you are welcome and for Nigel of That's course me. we're That's going me. to explain Hello. how the genius square works now you have nine pentomino style shapes nine we're going to remove pentomino Pentomino style shapes. Pentomino. Pentominoes are normally made up of five blocks, but these are in the style of pentominoes because they don't all have five blocks. So Fabulous. we're going to remove them. They're all different colours like this. Am I taking mine off as well? You're taking yours off okay. as well on the side of the board. And what we are left with on the board is the seven pieces which are called blockers. These round pieces are called blockers. We're going to remove these at the same time as well. Now, I have seven dice and I'm going to roll those dice. Now, when the dice fall, they will fall in one of 62,208 possible combinations. How many? 62,208. 
So you would actually have to play 62,209 times in order to guarantee that you were going to get the same puzzle twice. I'm only here till nine, but I'll do what I can. I'm free all evening. Hurrah! There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to roll these now. Now what we're going to do is when these land, I'm just going to line them up here okay. so that the viewers at home can actually see and arrange these themselves uh, onto their grids. We're going to block off the coordinates <clears throat> with our blockers according to the way the dice have fallen. So what I would like you to do, Nigel, is to block off A3 with your round piece there. Doing that, sir. E1. E1. And F1. F1. And E5. E5. And oh. B4. And B4. And A1. A1. And C5. And C5. And then what we're going to do is we are going to race against each other oh, to fit the rest of the blocks into the grid. Oh, my God. And it works every single time. Don't start just yet, because we're racing. I'm just arranging my blocks. I'm just arranging my blocks. It's going to be easier for you from one point of view, because I'm going to be talking while I do it. On the other hand, to be fair, I have played before, but no more than yeah, 10 I or think you may have an advantage, times, possibly. I'll do my best. So, are you ready? Yes. OK, let's go. So, as I did mention, this is the cleverest game ever invented in the entire history of the world, bar none. If you don't own one of these already, and you only buy one game in the whole of the rest of your life, this is the game that you do need to to buy and buy it today. We've sold nearly 7,000 copies through this station oh, and I have finished there already. It's got a hole. Have you done it? Yes, I have. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realise it was screen in screen. You could see my consternation. You can do. I like this. Should we play again? again? Yes, Yes, let's right. play again, OK? So, again, the chances of us actually having the same puzzle twice in a row this, are... Do you know, I've got to say, I'm sold on this already. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's I genius. need to point something out, by the way, before we even roll the dice again. Uh, this is a demonstration size Yeah, we're model. playing on a big one, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're playing yeah. on a big one, which has been especially created for Create and Craft. If you look, actually, just over in front of where Nigel is over there, you one. will see the actual size that you get uh, they are perfectly lovely and big enough I will for what sizes. you need there they are you compare sizes over there uh, everything yeah. is the same quality everything you need is there they are beautifully made out of wood but highly portable they're very highly portable they go in a lovely little box an environmentally friendly box and you can take them away with you on holiday or travel with them wherever you're going and so on and so forth Ooh, but I, you will I'm never two ever weeks today i'm taking it with me can are you, you? take it with me. <laughs> Mm, we'll see. OK, if let's roll those dice again. Now, I'm placing my order right now. That's where I'm going. While there's still stock available. Well, By the true. way, Nigel, I think you might like to know that if you go on to the Create and Craft website and have a look at the reviews, you will find there are hundreds of reviews for this, all of them do giving you know what I'm five do? stars. I'm going to get Katie, our producer, to get some. Pull up some me. of those five yes, star reviews. Indeed. Right, let's give you the coordinates while Please she's do. doing that. So we've got F4, F4, F1, F1, A2, A2, E1, E1. A4, A4, F3, F3, and I've just dropped one of mine under the table, which is not very helpful, what is it? What have you dropped? One of your... I've dropped one of my blockers under the Hang table. On, let me find Stay it there, for world. You. It's... Oh. Hang on, have you got it? Uh, no. I, I can see it, I can see it. Bear with, bear with, oh. bear with. Have you got it? Ladies and gentlemen, no. Welcome to live TV. Hang on. Well, no, it's all right, it's fine. It's can fine. you see it? I think it's that. Oh gosh, I think if that if that's it, it's stuck. Brilliant. I'll tell if you what we we'll do. Another one. I, 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 I'll use one of the. Oh, I'll use one Sorry. of the miniature ones from over here. Just Good man. Move right over Matt, here. Matt, you might need to be. Oh, hang on. Matt, you might need to be on your hands and knees to, to find it. It's under there somewhere. Good I told you I, I caused chaos while I'm no, here. This is good. C4. I like it. C4 You're is the guest. last one here. There's people all over the what place the here one? crawling around on their hands and knees. C4. C4. Let me go through it again. F4, F1, A2, E1, A4. F3 and C4. Have you got your pieces all together? Yes, I'm I've ready. got it back. Oh, bless you. Thank oh, you. Well there you are. Matt. We're in place now. If you're ready, yes. let's go. OK. OK. Uh, now, right, of okay. course, they're not all equally easy or difficult. It depends on what you get. Sometimes there will only be one solution and sometimes there'll be absolutely loads of solutions. It's all the luck of the draw and it's all about the speed with which you do it. <laughs> and I'm done. Oh, how can you even do that so but quickly? But you will find that you get faster oh, can I just and faster. Say that, no, look, get... Can I just say, because honestly, I might not have... I'm, the last one I was not going to do it because I had like one left. But look, one, two, three. I was there. I just well wasn't done. quick enough. Well done. Can we play again? Yeah, we can play another one again. Oh, no, Katie just said one more time and then we're moving on. Don't spoil fun, fun, sponge. It's all right, we'll I come back to, to it at the end. end. Oh, my word. Don't worry. 
And don't worry, Nigel, because every presenter that's ever done this with me gets to take a copy away with them. So Seriously, there you go. Seriously, I'm loving you even more. That's very right. kind. OK, let's roll those genu dice. I genuinely would buy this. Not that I'm going to know after what you've said, but it's like literally I would genuinely buy this because it's fabulous. I well, love stuff I like this. one for free then. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. We've got F2. F2. And C2. C2. And E5. E5. And C4. C4. And E2. E2. And A4. A4. And I'm now going to try and put the last one in without dropping it on the floor this time. F1. F1. A very different type of pattern. Are Gosh. you ready? Uh, yes, I am, sir. OK, let's go. Go. Brilliant. And again, all the people who are playing at home, do let us know if you manage to beat us okay. as well. I know. It isn't the easiest if you are playing along at home, do, do let us while you know. Are talking at the same time oh, not so easy but there you go i've done that there oh, you go now yeah. the beauty of this of course is that it only takes about 30 seconds to play each one and the first thing you want to do when you finish is maybe for you again. Gavin, i'm still you'll struggling get there. on that you'll one you'll get there this is fab do you know it's, it's like when i go to the gym I, if i run on the treadmill i always play solitaire and this is reminding me of that that joy of like <gasps> where are we going what are we doing Obviously, this is a lot quicker. Do you know what I mean? This is way more exciting. Coupled but with the joy of the treadmill. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes my mind off the, the horror of the treadmill. Oh, am I, we're not playing it again, are we? I've well, got to move did we on. Have some one, more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Can we see some of the reviews? Katie, let's they have a look at some of the reviews. Getting them, Gavin. She's, She's getting, getting them. She's getting the reviews. She's getting them. The fun sponge is on it, don't you worry. That's all right. Uh, right, OK. Here we go. Let's roll the dice one more time. Here we go. I'm just going to line those up so that the people at home can play along with us. So what Remember, it always works. F2, C2, A6. So hang on, F2, C2. A6. A6. A4. A4. E6. E6. E2. E2. And B4. B4. OK, you ready? OK, yes. Shall we go? Yep. Let's do it. Go. Here we go there. Uh, uh, this one looks as though it's going to be a little bit more tricky. You ask me why I know that, it's because you can see certain patterns How that are going to be harder than others. It's just a question of when you play again and again and again, oh, no, you do right. to sort of get the hang oh, of seeing no, what's going to happen. There. there you go, but there you go. Oh, it done again. Mm. I'm sorry. You will get there. I just want to tell you, I, I can't beat Yanis. So Is Yanis really good oh, at this? Oh, my goodness me. Is he really good? Oh, my goodness me. Yanis is the master okay, at this. Who's really bad? Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam would like to think that so he's Adam, really what good What at about it. the girls? Who's worse than uh, the girls? Janice is fantastic at this. Uh, yeah, I can imagine, actually. Janice is where well. Catherine's brilliant at it as well. So, but uh, is it Adam is the only one that's bad? Oh, Haley as well is brilliant at it. Well, the thing is, I think Adam would love to think that he is amazing <laughs> at it. But it's just not Adam, quite. if you're watching, you're bottom of the heap on this one, Sunshine. Well, apart from me. I, I, hear, about they... it. I hear about it on Facebook at 7 o'clock in the morning. Reviews! There you go. There are reviews. <laughs> there are reviews. Here we go. Uh, Anne, uh, let's look. Anne Kalida, I hope that's how you said that. Well made product. I've bought from this company before. Terry Morris, fun game. Looking forward to playing with all the family. Trusted customer. Brilliant game. Very absorbing and keeps you going for ages. <laughs> we all need that. Another fabulous puzzle and educational too, says D. Hamilton Patterson. Susan Amy says, bought one each from our sons at Christmas, but why should they? have all the fun so I got one for us we can all play together now on zoom I love this puzzle it's addictively yet relaxing and has become my game of choice to replace my computer games I thought it might become boring with familiarity but it is holding my attention it is I the entire in the entire history of the world it is the cleverest game bar none ever invented if you do not already own a genius square and you would like the benefit of getting 20% off today now is your chance to do that. We are so, so busy, Gavin. Good. Really, really busy. Busy is good. I'm going to say as well, I mean, to everybody that's buying one, I'm going to suggest you buy two because the joy of playing with somebody Absolutely. as you well. Join all the sets together. It's got to be done, isn't it, really? 549652, that's all you need to know. Thank you. Well, i tell you what you need to know is a third of the stock is gone. That's it's flying out the know. door. Uh, if you like. do want to go for it, as Gavin said, 549652, 1439 inch price. Do you want FlexiPay? Then you can have it. Boom. How about we see the video? You what, what? How about we see the video? Well, I've got to do the flexi pay first, and it's not ready, so we can't. Oh. Uh, seven pounds and twenty p is your price on that one. Five four nine six five two. Uh, before we go to the video, let's talk about the star one as well, because this is all the genius range. So, is it the same idea, just different shape? Kathy? Yes, it is. But the star is actually harder, and the reason why it's harder is because this one has one hundred and sixty-five thousand eight hundred and eight 
possible ways of playing and there is a lovely little twist in there as well now exactly the same principle you have got your blocker pieces which are inside there i'm going to take those out now so am i taking everything out as well you're again? taking everything out again but what i am doing here is showing that there are 11 pieces left all of which are different with the exception of the two halves of the hexagon there which if you do them that way up will go together to create a golden star but if you do them the other way up they will be blank now that is very very significant for the way that we're going to play now the difference here this time is that instead of having coordinates we've got numbers on there and sometimes you can't see that so well on the overhead so i'm going to just hold it up over here and just see if you can we can just zoom in on that can you see the numbers that are on there if i tilt it yeah, let's tilt it that way you can probably see there we are you can see the numbers on there very very clearly now they are the numbers from 1 to 48 representing the 48 triangles and here i have my seven dice again they are not all regular dice this time three of them are octagonal dice and for those of you who are big mathematicians out there that is the reason why we get the maths to tell us that there are 165,888 possible ways of playing so when we roll the dice we will come up with our seven numbers Again, I'm just going to line them up here so that the viewers of home who are playing alongside us will be able to see exactly what numbers they've got here. But we won't just start just yet. Let's fill the blockers first of all with number five. Hang on, so I'm putting the silver bits in number five, yeah? yeah? They're, 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 they're the white bits. Yeah, the white so bits. Number bits. five yeah. and number 20. 20. And number 16. Hang on, 16. And number 18. Yeah. And number 32. Number 32. And number 37. Number 32. I'm still behind. Uh, 37. 37. And, and the bonus ball is number 27. What was it? 27? 27. 27. So again, we've got 5, 20, 16, 27, 37, 32, and 18. I have my hand up. I have a question. Please ask. I've got to be honest. I wasn't listening to what you said about the blue one and the, 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 the star on it because I was busy taking my bits so out. So, we shall explain. There are 11 pieces here. Yeah. Now, they are all different apart from these two half hexagons. Yeah. Which can go together, if you turn them over, to make a golden star like that. Now, on roughly 57%, of the possible puzzles, it's possible to complete the puzzle with the golden star being intact. Okay, so 50, you want to complete it with the golden star if intact? If you can. Now, there's two ways of playing. You can either take a risk and go for what we call a double win by trying to build it with the golden star intact. Okay. Or you can go down an easier route and turn these over and just get them in wherever you want to. So if you can, if you turn them upside down, they can be separate, like Correct. sort of three triangular bits. And if you turn them the other way up, they have, have to go to together, do it together as the golden star. Now, the question you want to know is, how will you know whether or not it's possible to do that? And the answer is that if you go to thegeniusstar.com. Geniusstar.com. Geniusstar.com, okay. what you can do is you can put in the coordinates that you've got and it will tell you whether or not it is possible to build it with the golden star intact. I literally feel like I've dived into a new fabulous world I never knew existed. This Welcome. Is brilliant. Welcome. Thank you. But what we're going to do in order to make it a little bit easier here uh, is we're going to do it without the golden star because otherwise we could be here forever if it's is not Yanis possible. Is Yanis really good at this as well? Yanis has a knack for all of these types of things. Really? Is Adam really bad at this? Yanis has a real knack for all of these <laughs> types of things. <laughs> right, OK. OK? That's probably the best way of me putting it. So basically, right. it's the so same idea as the same other idea. one. Same idea. We're going to oh. fill this up. We're going to do it without trying to do the Golden Star. Okay. But what we can do is if, uh, in the gallery, if they call up GeniusStar.com, We'll have a look and see whether it would Sounds have been possible. Or I, not. Lo I love you because you're a game player's dream and a director's nightmare, which is brilliant. Uh, so, right. yeah, that's definitely <laughs> true. Good. Okay, so what, are, you, are you counting us yeah, in? That's it. Well, let's just start. Okay, now, this right. is going to take longer. Okay. Now, listen, because we've not worked together before and you don't know much about me, I, I don't. think you, Tell you, me need more. To, you need to know that I'm more than a little bit obsessed uh, with, with puzzles and games. Not just that. Um, I've been a contestant on nine game shows. Oh my gosh, let's compare. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me what you've been on. Have you been on some? I've been on The Weakest Link and I've been on Pointless. Okay, I've done both of those. Fabulous. How did you do? Uh, on, on Pointless, I got to the head-to-head -head twice. How did you do? Gavin, I got to the final. Did you? I did. But did you win in the final? No, I did. we didn't win in the final because sadly we asked, they asked us about... Um, 
like politics and football, which was not really my um, given subject, put it that way. Okay. The um, question that got us to the final was actually a question about the cheeky girls, which I got right. So there okay. you go. That kind of explains things. Wow. Really. Okay. Uh, and uh, and how did you do on the weakest link? Because uh, the weakest link, I got down to the final uh, again, but I lost. So I was oh, in the gosh. final two, but I lost. Okay. Well, I got voted out third without ever having been the weakest link. Oh, well, that's not fair. Uh, I know. Uh, and, uh, and and I found Anne to be an extremely interesting character. So, well, I'm going to say, I don't know what you mean by interesting, so I'm intrigued there, but I'm going to say she was very nice to me. So, she didn't step out of character. No, she, uh, she didn't at all. And uh, so we never really got to see the real Anne Robinson. Uh, what else have I done? Well, the most recent one that I did was Sitting on a Fortune with Gary Lineker. Oh, uh, which was last, how fabulous. Uh, which was last November, which was a huge amount of fun. Did you win a fortune? I got a question wrong, which, had I got it right, would have earned me uh, £70,000. Yeah, I can't tell you how popular I was in my own house once I got home after that one. Uh, oh what else have I done? Brain Teaser, which is a puzzle game show that used to be on Channel 5. I love, was, it, was that with um, Alex Lovell? It was with Alex Lovell. I know Alex. I used to work with Alex. She's lovely. Uh, she's absolutely... Yes, she's she is adorable. very lovely. She, she is indeed. Uh, we had a great time doing that. It was a puzzle game show, perfectly made for, for me. Show. They didn't take me on as a host. I'm uh, gonna say. It was the smallest studio I've ever been in. Is it Bristol? Uh, it was uh, no, it was in Oxford. Oh, Oxford. It was in Oxford, uh, and obviously, being a puzzle game show, it was uh, perfect for me, which is why I came last. <laughs> uh, so that didn't go down well. So what else have you done? Uh, I have done. Uh, I was in the very first series. Ah, oh, here's the here's the thing for you. I was the very first contestant ever to take the trade on Tipping Point. Uh, and as a result of which I lost £2,850. I'm going to be honest with you, that's one quiz show that I've never seen. OK. I've never seen Tipping Point. Love Tipping Point. Do you know what I love? And sadly, they don't do a public version yet, but I love House of Games. Do you? It's my favourite. Answer Smash is my favourite thing in life, and I'm really flipping good. I'm like Yanis good at it, do you know what I mean? Yanis good at it. Really that's, a, that's a thing good. now, you know. It's what? It's a thing now, being Yanis good, good at it's something. Gonna be, yeah, I mean, if you're really good at something, He's you in the building, Yanis he'll be very flattered by he hearing these kind words. He is in the building, he's on at nine o'clock tonight with Absolutely. Uh, like uh, what else have I done? Uh, I did, uh, I've done two that never actually got broadcast. Uh, one called Pressure Point for BBC One, uh, and one called Know It Alls uh, on BBC Two, which I won, but of course it was never broadcast. So were these pilots? Uh, no, uh, one was, one wasn't. Because I can tell you my pilot story. Go on. Because I used to be um, a journalist, a showbiz journalist for years. That was my job, right? Yeah. And I used to do lots of stuff with Ant and Deck. I don't know ever what happened to them. I hear they're quite good. Yeah, they've done um, quite well. And they, they did a show, they created a show, that, you know, they win the ads. Yes. It's like, I think it was Paul Ross did the pilot show. So me and my friend Cax, we used to work on a, a gaming channel called Avago back at the start of... Okay. Um, the early two, no, 2000s. So we got invited to go on this show because she knew them and I kind of knew them from back in the day. So we went on there and I won. I won £64,000 or whatever it was. But no, I didn't win because it was because a pilot. Because it was a pilot. So it's like you don't win anything, do you? Yes. So yeah, so when I've been on quiz shows for real, I've won nothing. But when I've been on a quiz show as a pilot, won everything. Uh, and I'm an absolute expert at losing whatever I win. Uh, we're a pair of losers, but I am liking you a lot. Uh, meanwhile, we're not really concentrating. <laughs> well, you might not be. I am. My brain is hurting from trying oh, to do this. Oh my word! This is uh, this is particularly difficult. Okay, but what's good about this is that we are demonstrating that this is significantly harder than the Genius Square. So for people who have already got the Genius, oh my goodness me! Look how close I am, oh, and I've still not done you? it. For people who have got the Genius Square and want a little bit of a harder challenge, uh, then this definitely fits that built in there. See? I thought I have I have I. Oh, have I, I have, I've done it. There you oh, go. Oh, Gavin. Finally, in there. Can I ask a question then, Gavin? Well done, I'm honest there. That was hard. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is it always, always possible? Yes. Because the fact this, the, the, this blows my yes. mind. Absolutely. How many possible combinations are there? On this one, 165,888. What you need Whoa. to know is that there is a mathematical algorithm going on here. So it's not that wherever you put the blockers, it will work. The blockers, at the numbers that are on the dice, are positioned deliberately. 
so that certain oh, numbers okay. can't come up at the same time. And so if you break it down, th there are all sorts of algorithmic charts that you look at which show where things can and can't land against each okay, other. Okay, because this is what was going through my brain, because I was that thing, well, imagine if all of the blockers were lined up together. It's like that would be, well, that would be kind of like not possible for the other shapes Correct. that you've got. So if I just demonstrate to you and show you, if we go back to the genius square just for a moment, and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. The stars is busy, about. by the way, just to say 836, eight, eight, oh, hello, Nigel, 836370 is your item. Number. Under a tenner in your flexi, honestly, I've only so, done it once and I want to play again. So look, if you have a look here, uh, you see, this would be an impossible combination because we've only got one single piece. Yes. So if I put that in there, it would be physically impossible for us to have a piece that would go in there yes. and a piece that would go in there. So if you look at the chart, the way the algorithms work, you'll see that it's all zoned out and that's how the numbers appear uh, on the dice to make sure that things that collide appear on the same dice so that they can never be thrown at the same time together. I wish you'd been my maths or my science teacher at school, because I would have listened a lot more, do you know what I mean? You make it I fun. I was rubbish at those at Were you? Oh, don't, don't shatter I was my the, dreams. Let me tell you something, I was the first, I was the first uh, student at my school to be allowed to drop uh, all three sciences at O level as it was in those days because I was so useless and so rubbish at them uh, that they realised it was completely pointless to uh, to actually have me sit the exams. In fact, the last set of exams I did in my science, uh, if you'd added all three scores together, you still wouldn't have got the 50%. Do you know, but who's laughing there? Because look at you now. You're better than Yanis now, and nobody's better than Yanis. Mm, I don't think that's quite necessarily <laughs> true. Anyway, so that is the genius square that and the genius the... star. OK, well, let's remind you of that. Everything is on the website. Do check everything else out on the website. Oh. Matt, what's the website? All the W's dot. Oh, it's that, that, that website. Got it wrong. No, Sorry, look, it's Nigel, the genius look, star look, website. Look, look, can you see what's on the screen now? We've put those coordinates in there. Yeah. Now, we just need to submit those coordinates. Let's click on that. And it's, so it was good that we went with that. There's no way that you can build that with the golden star. But you did it. No, not with the golden star together. We separated the blue bits. Ah, so got you. if we had tried to build it with the golden star, now if you see, look underneath there, yeah. if you see those numbers there, every time you click on that, it will give you a combination of dice that guarantees you can build it with the golden star intact. Oh my gosh. Can I just say I want to do the show every day? So do literally. I. So uh, do right, I. There's a hotel down the road. Let's, uh, sure <laughs> I'm sorted. I'm in. Uh, let's have a moment of respite. Let's do a, well, we, we're going to have a moment of respite. You're going to place your order, quite frankly, whilst we show you the, vine the video uh, for Junior Star or Junior Square. Both. Both. There you go, the fabulous genius star for you. Now let's move on to another one in this fantastic range from the Happy Puzzle Company. Uh, genius Gems is what we've got for you next. I'm assuming the same idea, Gavin? Slightly different, Ooh. and this is the new one in the series as well. So we're going to play against each other here. Come you can come over, over here and you can play here. So, first of all, I want to show you that the pieces on this one are double-sided. OK, you've got uh, 10,700... I'll be over in a second, Gavin. No, I'm just moving the cameras. 10,714 possible puzzles Let me just give the details well. and then I'll be over with you, sir. Uh, 016858 <laughs> is your item. You've got a director running crazy in the gallery. Uh, 016858 is your item number on this one. 1439 is your price on this one, if you'd like to pop it in your basket. And again, flexi pay. <coughs> Boom. We love a bit of flexi pay, taking it down to £7.20. Now, hopefully, if I walk over there... Yay! Look at that! Look at that! As if How by cool. magic. Here we are on the same on the same podium. Do I need to take the bits out of my watch? Uh, right, minute? watch me okay. watch me at this bit first of all. Now there are only ten sets sets here of the gems, and they are double sided. Now whatever you see 
on one side is reversed on the other side. So for example here, you've got one blue and two green. And if we flip that over, okay. it'll become two blue and one green. Similarly here, two orange, one green. Flip it over, two green, one orange. So everything is on reverse on the Everything is on reverse on, on, so on, like on the other there, side of it. That one there. two pink and one orange. And as if by over. magic, it goes over there like okay. that. I realise we haven't got the overhead here, so I'm going to show people there as well. Now, Lovely. there are lots of different dice. We're going to start by using the white dice here. Now, the principle is the same here, that however the dice fall, it is always going to be possible. That's a very good. That's the best dice shaker since a pop and attic. Do you remember them back in that the day? It used to come with um, frustration. Yes. Frustration. Yes. yes. The nice invention. I love to pop a matic. Nice invention. Now, the dice will fall. All the dice are the same. They've all got six uh, different designs on their size, but the same six different designs. And they will fall into these different wells, which are coloured. And what you're doing here is you're racing against your opponent to try and recreate all of these patterns at the same time inside the grid. So I'm going to demonstrate to yes, show you first of all, because there's a lot there. Okay, yeah. so first of all, and it doesn't matter what orientation they go so on. That, that one there. That one there and that one there. So you see we've so got our, created we've that. created that one there. Does it have like to be in so. that colour that's it? The it's got to be in, in the colour that it's fallen right, in. Okay. Here, if I go across here, we've now got the yellow one in place. You can see that little shape that goes in there like so that. That's that one. That is that one in there. So it like can that. be any kind of like... Any angle at angle, all. Yeah. And there is not quite... Is that it there? There you go. That's so it, we've now yeah. got the blue one in there like that. So that's that one there. Blue, okay. Blue. Uh, yellow one we've done. Which haven't we done yet? The green one, which I can get in here like so. And that will go in there like that. And finally, that leaves us with the orange one, which will go in there like that. And it will go in there like that. And there's the pattern. And the rest of them then can just fall into any position that doesn't you collide made that with what we're doing. You that easy. And okay. I suspect it's not. Well, it's when you're doing it at speed against somebody else. But before we play against each other, what I do want to explain is these other dice here. Because there are three what we call devilish dice, which are much harder patterns, and one dustedly dice. Die. <laughs> one, what? We'll do that again. The one dastardly, dastardly die, die uh, which is really absurdly difficult as well. And you can exchange any of these. So you can, if you really wanted to make this incredibly difficult for so yourself, is this you giving could you take like that out. Levels of sort of Correct. expertise. So the hardest way you could do it would be to have that combination oh, in there gosh. like that. That would be seriously, so seriously white difficult. White is kind of like level one, if that's easy. Absolutely. If you like. Then red is kind of like level. Uh, black, sorry, Absolutely. is like level two. Absolutely. And then Red is level and three. this is this is an eight to adult as well, like the genius star, because it is that little bit Adam harder. Nigel Yanis. Okay. <laughs> God, if Adam messages me in the morning. Well, I'm sure Adam's much better than I am, so really I'm seven o'clock in the morning, he'll be cursing me here. So are we ready to actually play? Yes. So I need okay, to take so let's out, put these in here yeah. and we're just gonna play the easy route. So uh, I can first of all. and obviously I can look on the other side to see what's going on. Yeah, what, you can I? do whatever you want. Uh, just race against me. Let's take these all out here. And you've got to stay within the boundaries that are on there as well. What do you mean? As in you've got so to keep you've got you clear. can't do that, for example. You've got to stay on there like that. Okay, you can't. You, in other words, the pieces fit yeah, no, into, got to go into yes. the, the jigsaw exactly. kind of e like exactly. Let me it, move yes. over to the side here and let us oh, get that in there. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's I race think. and do this. So, the problem is if I talk here, then I'm going to put you off, which is not what no, I no, want no, to do I at all. I don't have to listen, so you're fine. You don't have uh, to listen. No. Oh, that no, one in there, that one's uh, there, that goes in there already. It's just showing everybody at home. There's the pink one, there's the yellow one in there. Looks like the blue's going to have to be the same. The blue's going to go in here, like so. There's the blue one in there. Now let's do the green, green. making it a little bit harder for myself here. Green. That one's going to go in there, like yellow, so. That yellow. one goes in there. There is the green one there. And what have I left? out here I've left out the orange one now I've got problem have you because Good, I haven't I'm left pleased. myself enough of those so I'm can going I just to ask know, a question yes, you can because if I put that in there for the yellow right Gavin mm -hmm. so I've got that pattern there does it matter that no I've got it doesn't you can you okay. can leave it there like thank that you. yes you can thank you uh, indeed if I put that in there oh, like that so uh, put it so over good. there in that what side that like that in the center, and that that's nothing, there I can't that, go you there. can't go onto that there at all oh, okay. and that should be me done over there there you go I'm nowhere near, let's be honest. OK, nowhere that's near. all right. But it's my first time. That is your first time. And it's a lovely little game. And again, with this time, we've got uh, 10,740. I think this is so clever. Yeah.
so, so clever. And I love the idea with every game, because it's, even though it's the same kind of like principle for every game, there's always an added twist. Yes, there is. Like with this one, I mean, the fact that it's double-sided, the fact that you've got the dice and there is what the dastardly die as well, which is brilliant. Um, I just think these, it's been really well thought about as well, isn't it's, it? This is a lovely little development on the principle. It really is. What and it works very nicely. Eight plus. Okay. okay. It does look easy when we're doing it here, but it can get much more tricky as well. So eight plus is possibly realistic. Now, are we playing this game or are we, again? Are we, are we going to look at the video? Have time, they're telling can we look at, can we look at the video quickly? Because it's the first well, time the video's ever been seen. Say QVT. QVT. There you go, another genius game for you there uh, from the fabulous Happy Puzzle Company. Now, next up, we have got B Genius, as in B, B Genius. Uh, what's this one about then, Gavin? So this is the junior version of the game. This is aimed at ages three to eight-year-olds, and it's not a competitive version. This is all about building children's self-confidence, helping them to understand how puzzles work, and teaching them skills like spatial awareness, uh, sequencing, lateral thinking, and things like that. And the wonderful sense of achievement that they'll get from completing each of these puzzles is something that really will have a very powerful impact. Now, as I mentioned, it is a single player game. The pieces here are much bigger. They're beautifully made out of wood and they're very chunky. And the principle is the same, but it's all done in an easier way because here, instead of having lots of coordinates or lots of large numbers, we use the numbers from one to six and we color code them. So each of the dice that we're using here and although there are seven blockers, there are six dice. You'll see why in a moment. Um, and they've just got the numbers from one to six on there. So the first thing we do is we take our queen bee and we put the queen bee in the middle of the honeycomb there. And then we roll our dice and there's over 40,000 possible puzzles here as well. 40,000? Over 40,000. Let us just line them up there so that people can see what we've got here. And so we have got here to block off, we've got yellow number two, and we've got purple number four, orange number three, red number four. Can you slide it to the right a minute, Gavin, just a little yep. bit? Thank Is that you, better? Sunshine. Uh, and uh, where are we? Green number, sorry, green, blue number three, and finally green number four. So that's how they're in there. And then what we're asking our children to do here is to is do exactly the same thing, which is to complete things. These are lovely and chunky, uh, and they're beautifully made. And what they're having to do is to obviously recreate the patterns. Now, unsurprisingly, hopefully, I won't struggle too much here <laughs> on a puzzle which is suitable for three to eight-year-olds, but you'll very quickly see how how well these all fit together. That goes in there. Do you know what? I've made this quite hard for myself. Gosh, there we are. The risk of huge embarrassment coming up here. Ooh. That's okay. We'll put that Gavin's in there. Gavin's the new Adam. <laughs> Adam is not going to thank me. Oh, this is oh my goodness me, what am I well. doing? Put that one in there. Oh, dear, oh dear, I've completely messed this up big time. What age is this for then, Gavin? Is this sort of uh, I'm going to now group? change my mind. I'm going to say it's for ages 52 plus. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, what have it's I done there? It's ages. ages. It's ages three to eight. Oh, great. Ages three fabulous. to eight. Putting that in there. Put this one down here, like so, in here. Put this one across here like that. Put this one in here like that. Go on, I've Gavin. Left myself stuck I can again. feel the round of applause coming. When Do you know something? This, this is. Uh, Come on, Gavin. The word Come we're on, looking Gavin. for is, is, is awkward here, possibly. 
Oh, look at this. This is this is Adam's revenge, OK? Oh. This is what we're going to define. Do you think he swapped one of the blocks when you weren't looking? I think Come possibly, on, you're there, you're there, you're I think there. possibly Adam's done something here. Wow, look at my Put that one in there, that one in there. There you are, finally. Yay. There you go. Good luck. That's what that we was, like. Uh, that was a awkward. A round of so. applause deserved there. Uh, that is B Genius, ages three up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 52 nine up. Uh, I love that though. Zero nine two. It's the same that because I've, I've got two granddaughters, and it's like literally if I sit down to play with Elia, who's six, it's like sometimes we'll be playing a game and she makes it look really easy, and I'm struggling, and I'm a lot older. Oh uh, nine two four nine two is your item number on that one if you'd like to go for it. Let's remind you of B Genius. Check out the bounce on Gavin right now because he's got it. He's got his bounce on. Gavin, you are you are in the world of the large trampoline tennis. What is this all I about? Am. So this is exactly what it sounds like. This is trampoline material over what is effectively like a tennis racket type of thing. Yeah. And this becomes the bounciest thing in the entire history of the universe. Now, I'll just give you an idea. There's obviously a limit to what we can do here because I've got all bits of studio equipment around me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce it over to Nigel oh, there. Gosh. Oh, no. Right. And I bounce it Good back. Good start. You bounce it back That's to me. Too busy now, I should me point own. out here that what Nigel's got is he's got the smaller one over there, which looks like this. And there's people two sizes. Them, there's two yeah? sizes there, the small and what we'll call the, the medium, even though it's the, the larger one. Now, the difference between them uh, is basically these are very good for smaller hands so this one here is suitable for ages four and up this one is for ages five and up if you're buying for children or grandchildren who have a mixed age go for the larger one because there's more scope and you get more power out of it so now, you're saying hold it with both hands you can hold it with both hands to get more power out of it and we're going to bounce it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh nearly. Fortunately, I've got more balls. This here. is why I gave go. up tennis at school. Here you go. Right. Okay, go on. You go. You go again. Now, I will tell you, and I kid you not. <laughs> dear, oh, dear. Come on. I'm, I'm a little bit here. heavy handed. Oh, hang on. Oh, Can oh. I just say, you know, I always wanted to be more Yanis. We'll have a quick rally. Quick, quick, quick <laughs> rally here. But I'll, I'll give, we'll both use the small one and, okay. see, and see how we go here. Uh, you can, I kid you not, Bounce these right the way <laughs> over a house. Here we go. Another okay. one here. You will get these right the way over the house. In fact, you'll see in the video that we'll look at in a moment that we did actually manage to get it all the way over a castle as well. No so matter what you the age of the person no, that you're you playing with, <laughs> yeah. uh, you it's will find good. they will have very huge good. amounts of fun with this. This yeah. is brilliant for the beach. This is brilliant. Uh, Amazing to play in the for garden. the beach. A beach incredible. Amazing for the beach, and also in the um, in the park as well. Yeah. You can really go. I would so love to be able to take these cameras outside and just show you how high you can get them. Because thank goodness we're not near Heathrow. We should do that one day. We'll go outside. We should. We should. We should. I'll like train that. you up as well. We should. I, f I feel I've got yeah. to learn from Yanis. But the reason, whilst Yanis is <laughs> here. <laughs> The reason that I want you yeah. back in here though, okay. is because you know the first game that we were doing, and yeah. you, you said, well, hello, I can catch. <laughs> and you said, Yanis is really good at that. Because basically, there's been like a league table tonight. Genius Square. I'm, yeah, I'm not as bad as Adam, but I'm okay. nowhere near Yanis. Now, come on, I think you're doing yourself a disservice. No, Gavin said that okay. many a time. Uh... So it's like, I need to see you playing Gavin in with that first game that we did. Okay. And beating me is what we call here doing a Yanis. Well, uh, let's, we'll get the little clip on for the tennis, and then after that, it's Yanis versus Gavin, the celebrity.
there you go. That's the fabulous uh, tr yeah. trampoline tennis for you there. So do check that out on the website, cratecraft.com. But right now, it's the it's battle the of the Titans. Well, battle I'll, of the Titans. I'm building I think we you up here. We shouldn't big this up too much because I feel he's like the Tyson Fury and I'm the Dylan Way. Oh, no, I'm going to disagree. Yeah. It feels no, we're going to have six rounds. <laughs> uh, uh, on Eurovision terms, you're yeah. Sweden. That's what he was saying. You are that okay. good. No, Whereas I don't, don't big me up. I was yeah. more Azerbaijan. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> you it's like Azerbaijan <laughs> down. They yeah. won in 2010. Oh my God! You're a Eurovision yeah. fan as well. He does oh, everything. He's coming. Everything. <laughs> Two, two, two weeks and I'm there. I, I love it. Honestly, you it's brilliant. Yeah, of course I am. Oh. I know, it's, it's my happy place. I love it. Anyway, we will talk later. We uh, will. Right, so it is the match you've all been waiting for. The Genius Square. Yanis, who apparently is the best person at this ever. No, I'm not. Gavin said. is. Uh, versus Gavin, who is also very, very good. So, are you ready, guys? Yes. Take it away. So, we'll, we'll set it up. Can I just say, so, I have got the Genius Square at home. I play it with my wife. I then got a second set so and play with my though. family. That's got two I was sets. You need two sets. No, well, you don't just with my wife and myself, you just need the one. But um, if you want to play as a four, because I've started to get my parents involved what as well. Do you not play with each other? Yeah, you can. Against each other? You can, because in one set, you're getting two boards. So ah. you get two boards in one set. Okay, but if you want to play with four people, so the four people in your family to everyone to play at the same time, get a couple of sets. That I didn't actually know. I've been having yeah. too much fun. I didn't realize okay. you got two boards. There so you go. go for it. What have we got? That's my bad for not explaining it properly. <laughs> right, A1. A1. A6. A6. C4. C4. F6. F6. E6. E6. A3. A3. And B6. And B, uh, Ooh, B6. Oh, a lot of sexes yeah. there. Are All we right. ready? Ooh. OK. Go. All right, so oh, here's man. a trick, Nigel. What is the trick? Um, what's the, what's look the... for the harder shapes first. OK. And then... So the harder shapes, well, there's more blocks, more yeah. variants. Come on, Yanis, come oh, on. Oh, my God, I'm really feeling Do not let me down. Oh, no, Do no, not no. let me down. Oh. Done. Oh. And I was just done there. Surely so there's, was time for, second surely behind. there's time for a rematch. There is time for a rematch. Right. Time and then there is time for but this a rematch. He's very, very, very good. He's very, very good. But I'm not going to yeah. lie, he's been bigging you up since it is... the first minute. <laughs> <laughs> for a fall. And you've got poor Adam. If Adam's watching, he'll never step foot he's, in this building. Uh, he's Adam good. is going to maul me in the morning. <laughs> Genuinely, can I just say, skill. hand on heart, because I have this, it is my favourite game of all time. I know it's a massive statement. It's addictive. Because it's one that anyone can just pick yeah. up straight away. I right. so want it. Right, OK, are you ready? One, yes. Oh, no, hang on, what are the numbers? A6. Yeah. A6. F3. F3. A2. A2. C4. C4. Uh, F2. F2. E6. E6. And C5. And C5. All OK, right. your time starts now. Uh, come on, Yanis. Yeah, come on, Yanis. Come this on. Is scary. Come on, sunshine. Yeah, a bit of support from Matt. Come on. Woo. Come on. Woo. There you go. A bit of camp support from Matt. There okay. you go. Uh, and done. Oh, no, I'm not oh, no, done. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. No, I'm not done either. I thought I was done as well. No, he's not done it. Come on, Yanis. Do it. Do it for the team. Do it for the team. Come on. See, this thing, sometimes when you mess up. Oh, my word. Sometimes you have to start again. Come on. I've not done it right. No, I've not done it either. OK. Oh, my gosh. All right. This Bob is down. good. I'm going to be getting every guest doing this, literally. It's like the, the most fun. Well, um, I've it done is busy here. on the phone lines for this. If you want to go for it, Why am I struggling as well? I don't no, know. This is really... Wow, we've picked... I like the fact that this has happened because it really does demonstrate that they're not all easy at all. Oh, I feel, I will, I'm feeling I will the pressure. Tell you though, yeah, this, yeah. Gavin just did the B version, you know, the one for the young kids. Yeah. He and struggled. Boy, did I he struggled. struggled. <laughs> he struggled. Come on, Yanis. Oh come my on. gosh. Yes. We no. really oh, picked one here. What's going on? Okay, wait a second. Okay, we're there. We're there. We're there. Are we? No, we're not. Mm. No, we're not oh. there yet. I don't know what's happened. This is the longest it's ever taken. Yeah, it's the longest it's ever taken too. me as Maybe well. Maybe it's a particularly tricky combination. Yeah, I think we have here. One of we, the we three into something. Or have a mini I'm going to start again. again. I've started start again, again. Start again as well. It's bad when this happens at the end of a show because you right. start getting scared that we're going to run out. OK, no, no. So we if got we were on BBC this, One, we'd be delaying the news at this point. All right, let's have a look. News at 10 will follow shortly as soon as Yanis has finally won. What are we doing here, over there? In there oh, yeah. and done it. Oh, he's, done it. he's done it. He's I didn't done do it. it. I didn't it. do it. All right. <sighs> that was a really hard one. I haven't actually. That was a really hard one. So can we, can we, have we got time to do uh, uh, a Nigel versus Janice? Uh, have we got time for Nigel versus Janice? Katie? Are we? Yes. Are you, it's up to you because you've got to all uh, No, I'm cool. I'm cool. Right, right, so so go quick, I will yeah. roll the dice. You I will roll the dice. Yeah. All right. Okay. You take your pieces now, boys. Okay. Yeah. 
and we will see where we go. And I'm I shall put the coordinates up here. Start this, aren't I? Really? Yeah. Let's be honest. Right. Okay. So we have E6, E6, and D6, D6, and B1, B1, and C4, C4, E2, E2, A6, A6, and A5, and A5. All right. Okay. You ready, guys? Yes. On your marks, get set, go. So, I feel I can say with confidence at the end of this hour that if you have not bought this game already, you seriously, seriously need to buy it now because it's got 20% off today and that's not something that you get every day. So, it is 549652. Put it in your basket with your 20% off. Please don't do our job too well, all right? Otherwise, I'll be here every day, which will be just great. And you guys can go off and run a puzzle company for me, which you'll also enjoy, I have to tell you. Oh, but I'll be here with my evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing here? Yeah. Uh, no, We've got I'm not two and a half yet. minutes left Done. to go. Done. I am not there Oh, look yet. at that. Yanis uh, wins. Well I've, I've lost my touch on this. Uh, normally, well, you can say it quite no, quickly. You've done you may have lost your touch, but it was a lot better than my touch. Quite frankly. Well, first well, time listen, doing the show. I think you've done very well. Absolutely. So round of applause and it's been sure. brilliant to yeah. have to have you two as my guests here. Oh, Yanis, I'll, happy I'll let you come in. Hour. Come on I'll in here, Gavin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yanis, thank Yannis. you for popping thank in. You. Your Good prize you. for winning yeah. is an hour with Dawn Bibby. Off you pop. Amazing. There you it's go. Yanis is up with a one-day special with Dawn at 9 o'clock tonight. Can you believe uh, what we've got through in this we hour? One more game? Can we got time for one more game? Let me very quickly just show the yes. illusion cubes, if okay, you like. Okay, so what's this one? Okay, so the illusion cubes are the world's first create your own optical We've illusion set. We've got one set. minute to do we illusion cubes. We have got cubes. one minute. If you have a look, let me just move this over here so that you can see on the overhead. And it doesn't matter how much mess I make because I'll get to clear it up straight afterwards. This is an example of what you can do. You get 24 of these pieces in here. I've actually magnetized these for the show. They're double-sided and they are made of little bits that lie on top of each other. And what you're doing is creating <coughs> your me. own optical illusions. Now there are 120 possible different patterns that come inside here, all of which can be built with the pieces that you get in one set and then the idea is of course that you then go on and build your own creative ideas and the sky is the limit in what you're doing there's 20 percent you've literally got one well. minute to the end of the show so uh, i'm basically going to tell you that a lot of the creating crafters like to get these in order to be able to do quilting patterns with them as well but they are a brilliant way of introducing children to the whole world of optical illusions we didn't have a huge amount of time to actually demonstrate them properly but i think we have definitely had the best hour we've ever had in the entire history of the universe bar none because there's nobody in the world left now that doesn't own the genius square because everybody's bought them it's been awesome and amazing and come i got to work with oh, nigel i'm gonna come to you i'm gonna come, you come to over you. here and i've got to say it's been one of the most fun hours i've had at great craft and i've been doing this for like 15 years that is brilliant order your happy puzzle games for up here and also for here because it'll make you smile it will make you laugh you you thrill me excite me and scare me in equal measure we it's should do it brilliant. again we should do it again we need to do this again when are you back i am back in june I'm putting it in the diary now. Whatever that date is, I need to be 27th here. 27th of June at the moment. Thanks to Yanis. Thanks to Gavin. Yanis is up after the break. I will see you on Friday. Keep it here Goodbye on Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you soon. So, coming up tonight,